In this video, we'll discuss the infraorbital nerve block technique using the intraoral approach, a useful technique for sewing lacerations of the lip, such as this one. The infraorbital nerve territory includes the lower eyelid, the skin of the mid-face region and part of the nose, as well as the upper lip on the ipsilateral side. To begin this technique, you'll first locate and clean your infiltration site. This is generally at the junction of the buccal and gingival mucosa, just above the second bicuspid tooth. Next, place some topical anesthetic at the site of your injection. In this situation, I'm using topical benzocaine spray. You could get the same effect by placing 4% lidocaine paste in the area of injection. The next step is to locate and palpate your infraorbital foramen. This is the site of the exit of the infraorbital nerve from the maxillary part of the face. Once you've located that foramen with your index or middle finger, you want to keep a finger there in order to have a sense of where your needle is headed. I then use my thumb to retract the lip and I inject about 0.5 centimeters from the edge of the gingival mucosa through the buccal mucosa up toward the infraorbital foramen without actually injecting within the foramen or going beyond that border. 2-3 to three mLs of anesthetic volume, lidocaine or bupivacaine or your anesthetic of choice should be adequate. After you retract that needle you'll massage the area of the foramen in order to make sure you get good infiltration of that anesthetic around the exit site of the nerve. As always, you want to observe good injection site practices in order to avoid directly penetrating a nerve or a major blood vessel. When performed correctly, this technique will allow excellent anesthesia of the facial region shown above, which will allow for painless repair of lacerations such as this. For this and other techniques, visit lacerationrepair.com.